All right, in this video, I want to start talking about calculating a linear regression using the least squares criterion. And in this video, what I'm going to do is just give a quick little intuitive idea of what it means when we talk about this least squares criterion. And in a separate video, I'll actually show the formulas. And for a very specific example, we'll actually come up with our linear model. So suppose we collect some data points and you know, suppose I go out there and I, I find eight people, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I record their height and their weight. And I have left units out, pick whatever units you want. Maybe, uh, maybe this is uh, inches and, and pounds, I don't know, or centimeters and pounds. Uh, so, so I go out there, you know, so person one, they have a height of uh, 65 inches and they weigh 105 pounds, and the same thing, the second person, 65 inches, 125 pounds, etc., etc., etc. Well, what we could do is we could make just a little, a little scatter plot. And so uh, I've got a little scatter plot here, and I just kind of put some dots down at random. So I guess my first little disclaimer. This, this set of data and this scatter plot do not go together, okay? So I threw some points down there, but again, this is the basic idea. So, so you've got somebody's uh, height and weight, and you can just put uh, dots down corresponding to a person's height and weight. So we go out there and we collect these bits of data, okay, good enough. What we want to do is we want to come up with a linear model, that is, we want to find the equation of a line that best fits this data. And when we talk about a best fit, this is where it comes back to our least squares criterion. So, you know, to me, if I wanted to put a, a line, a line that, that sort of modeled this data, you know, just eyeballing it, it seems like the line should probably go through, you know, kind of in between the points. So I'm just going to kind of make a make a line here at random. It doesn't have to actually go through any of the, the data points that you have, so that's certainly not a requirement. So I'm going to make a line here, again, just sort of at random. So there's my, my linear model that I've just kind of eyeballed and come up with here. So this is our linear model. And again, you're just trying to model the situation with a line. So all this least squares criterion, to talk about that, um, what does that mean? So the least squares criterion, uh, what we're trying to do is we look at every point, so all of our, our data points. So let me take this, this bottom left data point. We look at the vertical distance between the point and the line. Okay, So that, there's some distance there. Let me call it D1 for the first distance. Okay, So right, you could measure that. You could figure that out. And then we do the same thing for the next point. So there's again some vertical distance, let's call that D2. And then we look at the next distance, D3. Then we've got another little vertical distance, D4, D5, little D sub 6. This is our, another distance, D sub 7, so the distance from our seventh point. And last but not least, we have the distance from the eighth point. Okay, so I've got all of these distances. What we do is we take each distance, so I take this first distance, this first length, and I square it. And then I go to the next distance and I do the same thing, I square it. And then I start adding all those distances up. So let me call that maybe capital D. So then I'll go to the next distance, D3, squared, and I keep adding these up until, in this case, I get to my very last distance, and again, I square it. So the idea is that the best, the best linear model will have will have the smallest value. It'll have the smallest value. For D, so again, uh, this is our this is where it comes. This is why we call it the least squares. Okay, we're squaring things, and we want it to have the smallest or the least value. Okay, so you know maybe maybe I was really confused and I picked a really bad model. So right there's my eight data points. Maybe I thought the you know the uh, the line that models this situation is somewhere you know way up here. 
or maybe my arithmetic is off and it gives me some other really bad model. Well now, if, if I compared the, the linear model in blue, the line in blue to the line in red, you know, certainly now if I look at the distances from my points, you know, if I look at my D1 now, if I find that vertical distance now, right, there's some distance, some length, and then, you know, the same thing, there would be another distance, another length, another distance, another length. Obviously, for the red line, if I take all of these lengths or distances and I square them, well, just looking at it, you can tell that that would give you a much larger value for capital D than what we've got here. So all this least squares criterion, it's some way of putting a line in between your data points that somehow minimizes the overall distance from the line to all the points. So that's why we call it the least squares. And you basically square things so you don't have to worry about sort of positives and negatives. That's one of the reasons why we square it instead of just using the original D value. So um, that's just kind of another little point. So this is the basic idea. Somehow, there, and there is a mathematical way, I'm not going to prove it or justify the formula, I'm just going to give it to us, but intuitively this is all you're doing. You, you've got some data points, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to put a line that goes in between them. So somehow that line is as close as possible uh, to, to the points. So in my next example, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these original eight data points that I showed us and I will actually find find the the equation of the line that does best fit those data points